about four weeks ago, I did a Tesla FFD test and the test itself was actually quite successful from my home to office. And I didn't even stop the FSD one single time. I realized and I need to find another time and maybe a bit early that has more traffic and then we can do another test. And here's what happened in yesterday. There's a car coming from the right. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. So the FSD just like stopped and then to go, but here, okay. Oh, I stop it. What happened is because there's a police car coming, but. And now let's go back to yesterday and see how FSD is handling those challenges during the rush hour. So I will start the uh, FSD and the car starts driving itself from my home. And this is my uh, local road and near my house, which is actually uh, pretty quiet at this time, like there's no any cars in this road. So the car just drives itself and behaving correctly. And here another left turn and has a stop sign. And the car stop here. So there's quite a bit of cars in here. I think the car is kind of waiting. Okay, now it's clear and then it's, uh, it starts to take the turn. And so far the car is pretty smooth. I think uh, this is kind of similar as what we have tested in the last time. Um, but as you can think, uh, once we move into the into the city or on the, on the highway, I think there, so there could be more uh, situations and that could happen, which is going to be different from the last time. Okay, here's another uh, right turn. Okay, it's letting this car in. I think this is okay. And it's continuing to drive to the right lane, preparing for the right turn. Oh yeah, we can we can hear the, the FSC is keep pushing the brake pedal. I, I don't know what happened here. Um, but that sound makes me really nervous. Um, but the car is just going regularly. Okay, it just moves. And now it's make the right turn. Still pretty smooth in here. From the navigation, you can see we're gonna do a ramp, and then here, basically, we're gonna go on this bridge and then get on the route. There's a car coming from the right. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! So the FSC just like stopped, and then like I, it's definitely like the car behind me is not happy with that, and cause the car it just breaks really hard and then i have to push the acceleration pedal to make the car keep moving but this is definitely an issue well this is like uh now expected i think uh seems a big issue to me i feel kind of like scared like when when that happened and also i feel sorry about the car like just behind me Okay, now we're getting on the highway. It's driving pretty smooth on the highway. I think ever since uh, a few updates, Tesla upgrade the, the model for the for the highway that is not the old model anymore. Right? So, it, so this is like the, the new model and then the car is driving pretty smooth on the highway and then it can merge lines by itself. I think there's a little bit more like, complex uh, traffic light uh, situation uh, in front of us. I, I think I, I kind of drove this road every day. I think this is what I'm going to predict and then we'll see how the car does. So I think here is the complicated part that we'll, we're going to make a left turn here. And then after the left turn, we need to make a right turn directly. And however, 
the lane we currently driving are actually not the, the right turn lane for the next traffic light. So this is actually make it super difficult for the car to actually make a right turn in here because there's a lot of traffic. So we really need to merge to the right lane that we can make a right turn. So I think the car is trying to merge to the right lane, but this is going to be hard. I, I think this is challenging, but let's see. Okay. Wow. It's great. It's actually, it's really like tight space, but the car is actually doing that. Oh, this is amazing. So this is great. So now it gets to the right lane. And it's waiting for the right turn in here. quite bumpy road and there's also a lot of traffic in here. New this area this is like usually the most tricky area that like a part of the road it has a few traffic lights and there's also two roundabouts and uh, which is gonna make the self-driving more challenging I think we, we actually we haven't drove this road in the first video and this is actually a good example to see how the FSD is handling more complicated road. And I think roundabout is really a challenging situation that is more open and it's hard to predict, hard to visualize which car is coming from which direction. And we'll see actually how it does. And now we are hitting the roundabout. And I can see the car is trying to merge to the left lane. I don't know why, but I think it feels that is, is the right way to go, but here, okay, oh, I stop it. What happened is because there's a police car coming, but my car, it didn't stop. It's, it's keep going, but it should light the car inside the roundabout go first, and then that's the issue, and it needs to stop. I think there's still more room to improve. Okay, so I re-engage the FSD, and then it starts driving this road, in here and there's another roundabout okay let's see how i actually handled this one so this is the similar situation it's more open so okay it's waiting but there's no cars oh god okay wow so i have to interrupt the fsd again because there's no any cars in the roundabout the car is just waiting there i think i feel the car feels not safe but I don't want to block the car behind me. And, and that's, that's, I think there's quite a bit of issues when the FSD is handled in the roundabout. And, and I think we'll do the similar test for the FSD W12 as it's available. I think for this two roundabout, this is definitely something that we can benchmark. So this is quite tight city street. And I can imagine if there's a car coming from another direction, we'll see. It'll be interesting like how the cars handle that. But it seems Tesla's doing a good job in here. And it's kind of drive in the middle of the, those parked cars. We're gonna need to make a right turn. And, but again, I can see there's a car coming from my left. So we really need to wait. And, and the car is waiting for the best time to make that turn. And from the visualization, you see the car is keep coming. So it's definitely better to just wait. Seems it's getting cleared. Oh wow! Well, that's that's interesting. The car for the mirror, and 
what happened. Um, but it, it just goes. I think there's a lot of hesitation. I hear a lot of like breaking, the breaking, so the breaking pedal, the sound from the brick pedal. But one interesting I, I have observed is like it actually fold the mirror. I don't know why it, it will fold the mirror. If you have any thoughts, like leave in the comment below. And um, this is definitely, I, I have never seen the car in FSD mode and then it folds mirror and then it, it just unfolded by itself. So we're driving here and we have the yellow light. So the car stopped. Okay. I think this is good. And, and this is actually a really complicated five direction. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's bizarre. There's a right traffic light, but my car is trying, trying to move. What happened? And, and as, as I mentioned earlier here, it's like five directional traffic light. So it's possible that the car's camera is looking at another traffic light. That's not the one that we should, we're supposed to, to follow. And this is makes, I, I think this is the first time I have seen the traffic light stop. It's not working. Yeah, you can see the car from going from different direction. This is definitely not a regular traffic light uh, situation. Okay, it turns to green. Oh wow, the car didn't move. Oh wow. So I I push the acceleration paddle to make it move, and but this is like the the FSD completely fell in traffic like situation, and this is bizarre. This is I think this is probably the first time I have seen this happen. Now we are in this traffic light. I think this is the. I think after this traffic light, we're gonna need to make a right. Uh, after this traffic, I think after this traffic light, we're gonna need to make a left turn. Uh, however, in this road, we are currently in the right lane. And there's a lot of cars. I think, uh, on my left. So I remember that we, we had a similar issue last time, but the car actually found a tighter space and actually squeezed into the left lane. And let's see how it actually does it this time. Okay, now we're passing this traffic light and it's looking for opportunity to merge to the left, but I feel it's still not merging. I think this is really late and we're gonna we do have time actually, so, oh wow. And it's trying to move, but it's, uh, okay. This is, yeah, so this time I, I failed it, that I have to interrupt it and then, and then I actually merge myself. So this is, uh, it, it didn't work this time. And, but if, if I were, I were thinking like the FST should actually merge to this line a bit earlier. And, and even before that traffic light and then that will make it work. Now it comes to the end of this road test. And I think it's pretty interesting. This is pretty complicated. I think the FSD it still has issue handling like open road, things like roundabout. I think for this test, we have two roundabout and it fell out of them. I think it has a lot of hesitations and it doesn't know if it should go or it should wait, and I think it's, it's still a challenge for for Tesla for the for the FSD to actually accomplish that confidently. And second, it's be surprising to me that it fell at one traffic light, and it doesn't know which light it should look at. 
and this never happens to me before in the past and and also this might be because the, the traffic lag it was it was facing is actually a little complicated it's like five directional the traffic light and the camera might have some confusion about like which one you should look at and then it, it just completely fell i think like when it's turned right and then it is trying to go but when it turned green and it didn't go like this is uh like very interesting finding so i think this video is going to be a good benchmarking video and after we get uh, fsd v12 and especially on the car like this car has the hardware 3 i believe a lot of the the tesla in the market that currently have the hardware 3 and this is going to be a good one that you can check out like how it does compare from the uh, FSD V11 to uh, V12. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.